um, yeah, probably uh, I I guess that for people who are very interested in the royal family life, probably yeah. it's like something important for me. In my case, it doesn't uh, it doesn't affect me at all. Yeah. But for many people, it will be interested in this, you know. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Um, lovely. Okay. Let's move on. Um, do you want to read this one? Yeah. Cold water swimming on the rice. I see dips sharpen your brain. They are beneficial for circulation, immunity, and mental health, or are they? Uh, I see dips. What what do you mean with dips? Okay, so a dip. Um, we talked about dip like this, didn't we? We talked about yeah. a dip. Yeah. So a dip is. Uh, it can also be used. Um, it is literally when you're going down. So when we're talking about a dip, we're talking about you can dip. Um, for instance, uh, you can take a bath. You can fill it with water, and you can put. Uh, your finger in. We talk about dipping your finger in. Okay. Or dipping your feet in. So it's just a, it's it's putting something inside. Ah, okay. Yeah, dips. Yeah, I remember when when we were eating dips. Dips. That's like, right. Exactly snacks, the same. You know. It's yeah. exactly the same. But an icy dip. This is literally dipping your body into very cold water. Yeah, icy. Yeah, coming from ice. And yeah. Going back to you know we were talking about sharpening a pencil. Yeah. This yeah, I know. It's, yeah, it's through. it's something, but it's like it's not something, but it's something that you feel like a strong feeling in your brain yeah. when you are inside it's, 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 in the in the cold water. Yeah. You know, like we can say also that puzzles sharpen your brain. You know, anything that gets this brain to work. Okay. Um, okay, so... So they're beneficial for circulation, immunity, and mental health, or are they? What do you think people like to swim in very cold water? Do you think it's smart or stupid? I think it has um, a beneficial uh, behind, because many benefits, sorry, uh, especially because there are several cultures as the Nordics, uh, Norwich, Norwich people, or, yeah, the Nordics. They used to swim um, deep in very cold, cold water, um, and I think it's because they they feel renovated. You know, they feel like yes. they renovate and they they do everything to improve the circulation, the blood pressure, and everything. And um, I have heard about that many other people do that to to prevent the aging. Yes, yes. Yes, especially for the skin, you know. The skin is like, um, it's still young. young. Yeah, yes, still yeah. Young. Um, we, I, I, okay, so we wouldn't use renovate because renovate is to do with buildings. So okay. we talk about, um, I'll tell you what, so to when renew, we talk about renovating a building, renew? it's it's doing up, you know, we're, we're repainting, we're, reno you know, we're yeah. renovating, we're painting. So, um, I can't think of the word, but we would use energized. Their bodies are energized. Yes, to be yeah, to be energized and to be and to be, uh, to feel reborn would be. Uh, to reborn. Uh, there is a word. Hold on. Uh, there is a word. Uh, just give me two secs. One second. Uh, I think the word is is to reinvigorate. They, they feel reinvigorated. I think that's we can use this um, reinvigorated. That's where they ah, get yeah. more energy. Yeah, reinvigorated. Re reinvigorated. That's the word. Yeah, we have we have something similar. Rain. Uh, because it's funny because we have many words in similars. Of course. I, brain, um, brain. Do you know what? Because there's a parent language at some point. Um, yeah. And we split off, that's all. We've, we've got lots of words. Probably, the okay, the pronunciation definitely is completely different, but uh, we can 
sometimes we invent words in English because it's like we assume that are is yes. similar to Spanish. For example, exactly. energize it similar, uh, revigorate it kind of similar. Yeah. Family similar, recycled similar. What about, what about you talk about life? What is that in in uh, Spanish? Life, you know, the, you know, my life. You know. Uh, no, my life is different. It's mi vida. Vida is life. Mi vida. Oh, okay. Yeah, my life. Okay. okay. All right. Lovely. Okay. I can um, teach you if you want sometimes Spanish. If yeah, like. of course. Yeah, we can do exchange if you want. Yeah, why not? Well, okay, well, I'll pay you. I'll, I'll have no, I'll no, a well. no, we can do exchange if you want. Don't worry. Because oh. I, I used to do this with another with another tutor. And I used okay. to teach, for example, uh, we used to do like one hour and a half, the half of the class in Spanish and the other half in English. Oh. Okay. Well, I, you know what? Uh, I think an hour for me is a long lesson already. So maybe a few minutes at the end, a few minutes, but, uh, yeah. but it's, it's your lesson. So I, I don't. So what, what do you think about? Okay. So you think it's a good idea? Uh, swimming in cold water or not? You think it's yes. good? Yes. Yeah. I think it's a good idea to, to feel energized, to feel reinvigorated, and also to improve the circulation, the blood pressure, and and another benefit, uh, for example, will be to improve the skin. Um, yes. And many people do do this to uh, dip in icy water, uh, yeah. just only to to prevent the aging. Yes, this is uh, to prevent aging. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, and the second question, you know, other winter sports. Do, you know what other winter sport do people get excited about uh which ones would you like to do okay there are i think a uh, winter sport will be a good example skiing snowboarding um everything uh every every sport uh which is referring to with the snow and with winter yeah. And especially winter Olympic games, I think they are very popular. Uh, I am not very good at uh, this kind of a sport. I tried three times in the past, but uh, I haven't done so good. I haven't done so. Yeah. So Thanks. yeah, I done. Uh, I done snowboarding once, and another time I did. Uh, I tried uh, skiing too. Yeah. I've, I've never been ski, uh, uh, ski boarding. Ski, I'm never going to do it. Not even try. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's like when you see, when you watch this kind of a sport uh, on the TV, it's like you say, okay, this could be easy to do, but it's not easy at all because it's so deep. It's like I deep or yeah. Uh, so you it's need like... to you need to go down, you know, very fast. Yeah. Um, and I think you have to. You have to have a good balance of your body, definitely. Yeah, you need to have a good balance, and also it need uh, you have to do in good shape. Good shape. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is very important to the sport. Very important. Okay. Uh, you know, the thing is, uh, as we get older, you can't. If you get injured, it takes longer to recover. Yeah, that's completely true. Yeah. So we have an expression: uh, "It's easier said than done." So it looks easy, you know. But when you do it, it's sometimes that's um, that's a common expression. Oh, or we would say this: it looks easier than it is. That's another thing, you know. You know, we say it looks easier than it is. It's the same in football. You know, yeah. you look at the football. You know, football. They're only kicking a ball around, but I, you know, it looks easy. What did you do? I couldn't do that. I couldn't. Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. Uh, what about the, and the next one on on um, the scientists? Yeah, just hold on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, scientists find cure for dying coral. Coral reefs provide an important ecosystem for life underwater and protect coastal areas by reducing the power of waves hitting the coast. Coral is an animal with plants-like cells inside of it. 
what else can you find out uh, about coral? Well, I, I, I don't, but I, I, obviously that's, you know, that's a, like a subject in itself, but are, are there lots of coral reefs around Argentina? Um, to be honest here, uh, probably there are, but it's not very common to see it, you know? Okay. Probably they right. are because it's there, the corals are everywhere under the water in, in, in the seas, in every seas. But and, and it's, it's, yeah. yeah, but here I think it's, the normal people with the normal eyes are not able to see it. Uh, using, uh... Yeah, okay. And is swimming very popular? In, in, are, are, they, are there lots of beaches around Argentina? Yes, we do have many beaches here, but the thing are not really good ones. Uh, oh, we really? have, yeah, they're not really good ones, especially because here um, we are, um, the main beaches are in Buenos Aires, in Buenos Aires province. Oh. It's, a, it's a big, it's a big province here. Um, it's very, it's surrounded by the Rio de la Plata River, or the La Plata River is the name of the river. Yes. It's just in front of Uruguay. Um, this river divides Uruguay and Argentina. Uruguay is okay. a small country. Um, yeah, and all the water from the river is like kind of brown, you know? Right. And when this water mixes it with the ocean, so the ocean yes. became brown too. So okay. all the all the water from the Argentinian Sea is kind of brown. It's not okay. it's not very clear the water, you know. Okay. I mean? okay. So that's why uh, I think the beaches are not really good or they are not as good as others uh, because of the color. So, the so, color. so is is taking a holiday in Argentina is not do people go abroad for their holidays or uh, okay if you can afford the trip um your journey you can go abroad of course but nowadays i think many people are choosing to stay here uh, especially because the the currency exchange rate is very yes. inconvenient right now to travel um for example in my case um my next holiday will be in yeah. the next january and my family, uh, they got um, a small apartment from my grandma who passed away okay. a few years ago. Okay. So, yeah, so uh, the family owns a small apartment next to the sea here. Okay, um, okay I will take advantage of this apartment because it's free. <laughs> so I don't need of to course. pay. I don't need to pay for, for accommodation. But if I, if you give me the chance to choose of course i will choose another kind of beaches for example brazil brazil they okay. do have they do have many several places to go and spend vacation on holidays like yeah they have like a clear and green water um the sun is very white and also i like um caribbean Caribbean, Caribbean beaches are yeah Caribbean is wonderful um Spain beaches also are so nice in the Mediterranean Spanish, Spanish beaches yeah. Spanish, yeah. Spanish beaches okay is it, is it is it a long is it a big trip to get to Brazil is that a big uh if you don't mind I can share with you yes I can show okay. you how okay. it looks like yeah yeah two seconds yeah yeah one second okay yeah probably with the okay, second. so you, you got to Yeah, I'm gonna show you how, how it looks like the beaches over here. And you will see the differences. Okay, this is the best place here. Mar del Plata is the name of the city, okay? It's like yes. the main the main place. Buenos Aires. I will show you. Okay, this is the main one. But look, the sun. No. You know, the sun is a kind of dark, you know? Yes. But the beach is okay. The city okay. is really nice. It's a very big city next to the beach. And it has a lot of attractions and activities to do. So it's a very nice uh, city. But the color of the sea and the color of the sun are not from my likes. You know, or it's, it's yeah. not my best you know, but yeah. it's better than nothing, you know. 
because... yeah, especially because I think the same happened with you guys in England. In England, probably you you have beaches, but they are not as popular as the Spanish uh, beaches. You know, uh, absolutely, the absolutely. same thing. So this is exactly yeah. the same. So this is orbit, but it's not uh, for us. It's not the best. Are not yeah. the best. And the other one here, Bra Brazil playas. Playas is beach. Okay, playas. Yeah. And look, completely different. You see? Oh, God. look the color. Look the color of the yeah. sun. Look everything. It looks much better. You know. Fantastic. Yeah. So okay. It's the same. You see? But better color, better, better everything. And also the temperature of the um, of the water is like more. It's warmer in comparison. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. And this is like. Caribbean, <laughs> probably you know Caribbean, Caribe. Caribbean, yeah. yeah. Look, wonderful too. It's even better, you know. Oh God! You <laughs> see, this is insane. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my God! Yeah. yeah. Yeah, insane. Yeah. So I will definitely live here forever. But well, this is the <laughs> paradise. Um, I went here. You know what is funny? But uh, I made a trip a few years ago. Let's say seven or ten years ago to a small island in the Caribbean. And I spent one day alone in, in a beach like this, similar like this. And I could definitely oh, say, beautiful. yeah, but I could definitely say that after a few hours, you feel like you want to escape. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, it's good, but in a small doses, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like we are not prepared for this for long hours. I don't know why. It's yes. like yeah, no, no, no. It's, I don't yeah, know yeah. why. Probably it's our brain. Probably our brain is is like um, is made to to interact with other people. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Probably it's something yeah. related with psychology. You know. Um, and this is the place where I used to live in Tenerife in Spain. Yeah. yeah. So this is the place where I used to live, and we used to go to this beach almost every week. Oh, yeah, this is the uh, the main beach over there. Yeah, beautiful. I, yeah, it's also really nice. It's like oh, this. Gosh. Yeah, and it and they have very yeah, and also they have like rocky beaches, you know, rocky. They are yeah. made of volcanic rocks. Yeah. So this that's why it's the color black, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, this is something. <laughs> so no, no, thank you. Uh, you have um, a, a better I, picture. No, no. I, I, so I, I can. I, I think about my holiday for next year now. <laughs> yeah. Lovely, beautiful, really. Uh, so I, again, it's just a small thing. We say I made a trip. Uh, we say I took a trip. I took. I a took a trip. trip. Yeah, I took trip. a trip. I took a trip. Uh, okay. So, um, no, I think I think you're still sharing, aren't you? Because I can't. Uh, uh, no, I stop I? sharing. I stop sharing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So why? Uh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Lovely. Uh, let's go back. Uh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. We did this. We did that. I know. Just it's it's gone back to the beginning. Um, so, do you think uh, are are you, are, are people well they're probably not worried about are they the coral reefs? I mean, they're not, it's not a. Are you uh, worried about coral reefs? Um, I think they are important. Of course, they are important for the marine ecosystem. Yeah. Um. But well, probably I am not the best person to talk about because I am not very. How can I say? I am not very. I am not a specialist in corals. Yes. <laughs> That's yeah. the thing, yeah. you know. Yes. So yes. I don't know some anything about corals, but yeah. I think they are important, of course. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. okay. Well, this is in China. China has moved to relax zero COVID strategy after rare public protest against mass testing and lockdowns. What is the COVID situation in your country? Okay, I think here is completely 
it's no no COVID uh, restriction at all. And yeah. I think we have some some cases, but no one is talking about that. Um, uh, the government has implemented a very strong uh, vaccine uh, campaign, you know. So yeah. I think uh, most people has been vaccinated uh, with the three or four doses. In my case, I only got three doses. Um, two yeah. in Spain when I was living in there. Um, one when I came back here a few months ago. But I think COVID is not a main issue nowadays. So I think many people are worried about the World Cup only. <laughs> But, no yeah, to be completely honest with you, so it's like no one's pay attention to anything at all. Even the economy doesn't care. The people don't care at all. It's like the people should forget only because here the people are very, they are football fanatics. Yes. It's like, I think in England it's the same. Yeah, it's, yeah very much so. I think... Uh, yeah, the people uh, in England, I think you are you're the football lovers. I, th I think on um, Saturday at um, seven o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I think we have many things in common, especially football. Yeah. No, you, you know. I cannot hear you. Sorry, can you hear me? Hello? For sure. Now I can hear you. It was like a lag in the connection. Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Uh, 